VidCon Day 2. It was pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I met Charlie and Michael Aranda. Yes, they got married. They're totally husband and husband. Not kidding. Um, that was awesome. I, I didn't faint in front of Michael Aranda, in case you were worried. Um, I ran into Felicia Day like three more times. It was so great. She just like waved at me like she knew me. It was, it was really nice. Um, I went to the big uh, concert in the middle of everything, and John and Hank were the hosts. That was fantastic. Oh, yeah, did I tell you? Actually, on, on a, I was in one of the panels waiting. I'd gotten there early. And there's a back door, and I'm like on the first row. And John Green just casually walks into the room. What panel is this, everybody? And I'm like, it's nice to meet you, IRL, sir. He says, it's nice to meet you, IRL, too. And then I made a that's what she said joke whenever he was leaving, and I'm not sure how he took it. Whatever. Um, high five, Toby Turner. Repeatedly. Danced next to him, too. Oh, yeah, I got up on stage and, and danced with Mike Diva. NBD. Um, <laughs> one of the things that they talked about yesterday, actually, in the panel with Felicia Day and Will Wheaton was how do you handle negative YouTube comments and feedback. Um, and it seems appropriate that I should talk about that. But also, one of the things I heard today, which is relevant to what I heard yesterday, learning, is actually from a girl, a woman, who is uh, helping to save the rainforest. I know that sounds so cliche, but her name was Jessica, and uh, she told me, she told us, it was, we had a private conversation, we, we're Facebook friends, we're gonna be besties. Uh, it was an old Native American legend. Um, a grandpa telling his grandson, there are two wolves raging inside you, the bad and the good. And the son asked, which one wins? or the grandson. And the grandfather said, whichever one you feed the most. That really resonated with me. And so I'd like to impart that part of, or that, that pearl of wisdom to anyone who happens to watch this video. Um, oh yeah, I, re I actually thought they looked like they might have been important. And I just walked up to them and was like, hey, can I have a handshake? And it turns out there were these guys from Alabama who had their own channel, and these other girls, I don't know where they were from. I got their card, so I'll include a link in the doobly-doo. Um, and they, I, I drank some hot sauce, and I got filmed, and, and they were super excited about this, and, and, and they were so enthusiastic about other people having a YouTube channel, and their, their own YouTube channel, and, and just networking and connecting with the world, and it was just so empowering. And that's what I love about VidCon, is how, how it's just okay to be yourself. And it, it's not a problem. You don't need to feel ashamed or shy about it. If you want to get up and dance, you get up and you fucking dance. You dance it out, okay? Yeah. Oh, world record breaking game of Ninja. I was... I performed less than well, but it was my first time, so... Context is everything. Anyway, um, what else? Uh... I ran into the cast of Bite Me on my walk back to my hotel room and they complimented me on my shirt and uh, I gave them my information and so now we're in cahoots and I'm just, I mean, honestly nothing may come of it, but still, this is a great, it's been a good two days. It has. And uh, I take, you know, I rescind my former attitude comment. I still don't know her name, which is really bad of me. I'm gonna look her up, I promise. Um, cause these are different circumstances, you know, she, I saw her again today, the girl with the hair, and I thought about going over and be like, hey, sorry, it was kind of a pile of awkward, um, when we last talked, but I didn't. Because, be yourself. <laughs> compromise when you want to, when you think you should, but don't compromise something that's fundamental to who you are. Another pearl of wisdom. For better or worse. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Everyone else is still back there partying and stuff, but I've got work to do, so. That's what I'm working on. Um, I got more swag. I got some t-shirts and stuff. Um, oh, I met Philip DeFranco. I completely totally left that out of the equation. Wow. Yeah, no, I met him several times. And, uh, and he, oh, he was just so humble. He's just, like, the greatest guy. So awesome. And taller than I thought. Yeah. And yet so tiny. I don't, I don't know 
how you did it. Anyway, um, I got some good footage. I'm hopefully gonna put together like a clip, <laughs> a video montage, not like that, of of all the the clips that I got. There were some interesting, odd moments, and then there were you know really awesome moments. I met a lot of people. Uh, most of them probably I will never see again, but you never know. The universe works in mysterious ways. So with that, I will leave you to your Saturday evening and hope that you have a good rest of the weekend. Your next week goes well. You are wished happy and luck and serendipity and charisma and everything that D&D &D has. I know that was a terrible joke. I apologize. It was really bad. I'll do better in the future. I promise. And yes, I will see you guys sometime soon. I'm going to get on a regular schedule eventually, but uh, not until certain things fall into place. So no promises yet because I wouldn't be able to keep them. <laughs> so I uh, hope everything's well in your corner. corner Fuck, it was going so well. What happened? I hope everything's going well in your corner of the universe and that my hideous, disgusting face doesn't turn you off. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.